know, do you eat honey or do you drink honey? I'm not... I guess you don't drink it, but you don't really eat it either. Anyway, this is Mega400, uh, back with another ep episode of Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. Uh, and there's the Jinjo Oracle there in every world. Again, you get a jiggy from them when you... It's basically unlike uh, in Tui, where you just had all the, the... You had to get all the Jinjos before you... Uh, I think I call it Jiggy Oracle. Jinjos before you um, were able to... Uh, like, per house. If you got all the red ones, then you got a Jiggy, and you got all the orange ones. This one is, go back, goes back to the Kazooie formula. So here's a uh, Bazai. Uh, the first move we're going to learn is to go underwater, which you can only go in bubbly areas. I can't wait to take a dip into some watery crevice. That could be taken very wrongly. Um, so let's see. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? Um, also, I, I got a new mic, if you couldn't tell. It's, it's the same brand as the one I had before, but it bro the other one broke. So hopefully, and again, this one shouldn't be... Uh, Mo maybe I'm not, hopefully not, uh, the other one was, like, creaky and stuff, so there was sometimes, uh, interferences. So this one should hopefully won't have any issue with that. Um, but yeah, uh, I want to give a shout-out real quick while I'm, uh, just thinking about it. Uh, Slim Kirby, uh, started, uh, Saturday, he started his Let's Replay of, Ban well, technically it's Let's Play, but it's, uh, he did a walkthrough before of Kirby Superstar. Great game, and uh, I'm going to be watching every episode because Slim's a great Let's Player. Uh, and I'll also give a shout-out to Shadow Mario for every single thing he's done since I've been on break because he's done several. He's did, he finished Soul Calibur 2, then he did a Let's Play of Cruising USA, which only was four episodes long. And then he did a Let's Play of um, uh, oh, uh, SimCity. Yeah. And he should do another Let's Play pretty soon, because SimCity is almost over, so... Uh, I also give a shout-out to Guy Christian 9 He's almost done with Fable, uh, the Lost Chapter, so... Uh, definitely watch that. So he's, uh, I'm really getting into it. Like, at first, I wasn't into it because... Uh, I don't know, I just wasn't in... I, it's not one of the games I would uh, probably play, but he's uh, actually quite a good Let's Player, so he's gotten me into the game. So definitely check out Guy Crusher 9's uh, video. Um, okay, so we learned how to climb now, so Banjo can now climb ladders, which I'm glad. The one thing that, you know, you know in terms of Banjo th things, in Tui, you the first move you learned is how to grab on things, but you'd think that in Kazooie you would learn how to grab onto ledges beforehand. I mean, it would have been really nice. But yeah, if you, if, uh, I guess, uh, this is Cliffside Farms, I didn't say that, I think it's Cliff, or is it Cliffside Farms? Cl Cliff Farms... Hillside, I think it's Cliffside Farms. Hillside, Hillside Farms. Hillshire Farms. Wait, no, that's it. Um, but yeah, uh, this is basically like Mumble's Mountain of this game. It's really easy in terms of getting the jiggies. And look, there's a hen. She lost the egg. So let's do something similar to Donkey Kong 64, except for really easy and not that hard. Meaning a slide. Slide. Slide with me. Okay. Um. Here we go. But yeah, the music in this game is pretty enjoyable. There's one uh, later, uh, the hillsi uh, Hillside Farms, or Hill... Cliffside Farms, if that's what it's called. Cliff Farms. Is uh, really uh, quite enjoyable, but there's one later on that is probably the best song in the game. Maybe even one of the, my favorite banjo songs in general. And for the Game Boy Advance, I mean, the Game Boy Advance doesn't have the best sound chip, in my opinion. For, like, I mean, even other Nintendo systems have better sound chips than the Game Boy Advance. But some of these songs are really good, even for the Game Boy Advance. Um... But yeah, uh, but while I'm on the topic of uh, Let's Plays, or was this a few seconds ago, um, Crystal Star Studios, the group I'm a part of, uh, we are working on something. I know we haven't had anything up yet, but we are planning something, so be sure to be on lookout for that, uh, hopefully soon, uh, as soon as we can. So yeah, we definitely have something in mind. So sorry for anyone who's been impatient with that. Um, but yeah, I said I was going to talk about Nuts and Bolts. Uh, well, the one thing I thought about quite a bit was with Nuts and Bolts, because I'm trying to keep this banjo related, uh, Nuts and Bolts was, um, it's a good game, I, and again, keep in mind I have not played the game, so therefore I am not judging from personal experiences, I'm judging from what I've seen via videos and stuff, therefore my opinion might be different than I've actually played it, but considering what I'm actually going to criticize, I don't think it probably would be. 
at least in terms of what I'm going to criticize, maybe what I'm going to praise is probably not. But anyway, uh, gameplay looks good, looks decent, looks like a fun game. However, not in terms of Banjo. I, I don't think it would be a good, I don't think it looks like a good Banjo game. It doesn't look like a game that, haha, <laughs> I'm having fun. I not let bleeders come out of pen, her, her. That guy needs to go back to school and learn grammar and English. You do not stop, I little bleeders. Seriously, you name the sheep bleeders? That's kind of a odd name to name. Well, I mean, I guess sheep say bleed or have ble uh, they ble sheep bleed, but ba oring. Okay, let me guess. There's gonna be a bunch of sheep puns whenever we talk to these guys. So, um, there's another jiggy. Uh, but the gameplay for Nuts and Bolts looks really nice. For a game, but not for a banjo game. The character, de the character design is horrible. I mean, I'm sorry, whatever you say, but they try to take a, a realistic, they try to make the characters realistic, cartoon characters realistic, and it didn't work, and it never should work. And just the character models are just horrible. Uh, hands off. Uh, first off, uh, the music sounds pretty good, uh, and the gameplay looks pretty good, but the overall. Uh, banjo ness of it just doesn't it doesn't seem like banjo it doesn't seem like it would be a good idea for a banjo game plus the fact the whole story is just basically decimating the fourth wall and I just I don't know um I guess the best thing I can compare it to from the top from my knowledge is uh Zelda 2 Zelda 2 I've, I've said before is a great game uh, it's a pretty good game I love the gameplay however in terms of Zelda because of the fact that it's very similar to Zelda in that it's an action uh, adventure, but it still changes a few things. Uh, because of that, um, it's it, it's not like it changes the genre. It's slightly changed enough that it is. It seems like it's not like Mario RPG and Mario platformers. Those two are like totally different, right? Even though they're in the same series. But Zelda 2 is almost like it's changed just slightly enough that you still consider it a Zelda game. And compared to the other ones, it doesn't fit. And that's why I would think Banjo and some bolts kind of looks like. Is it that if it wasn't a Banjo game, it would be good? But because it is, then it's not. It's compared less than it should be. And Zelda 2 doesn't work as really a Zelda game, and Banjo uh, and Bolts doesn't work as a Banjo game. So we're gonna find these chicks for Mama Clucker. Um, and yeah, this is this is gonna be a short level. It's gonna not take us much longer. Uh, yep. But yeah, it's great to be home. Uh, off from break. No more. Uh, or, uh, no off from college break, uh, no more college till next semester. Nice Christmas winter break. Hmm, there's a hole. If I were a little smaller, I might just squeeze in there. Hmm, you know what that means? We might be seeing, uh, someone from past games that we just saw, or actually earlier for that matter, uh, who will give us something that will allow us Stop with the sheep puns! No one no one wants to hear those. So we're gonna go fishing for some sheep. I, I don't know how that actually works. I, I guess we're we're uh, luring them with the bait, but it looks more like a sticky hand from like Mario Party. So yeah, uh, I don't get the logic either. If you can catch 12 sheep, okay, the time runs out. You deserve a reward. So yeah, this is pretty easy. And they do have like mini games like this, uh, as you saw with the slide and like this that they had in uh, Two Wing Kazooie. Again, uh, the, uh, while this game is definitely not as good as Two Wing Kazooie, it's still a decent game for what it is. And for a handheld Banjo Kazooie game, I I'd say it's it did pretty did pretty well. Um, it's enjoyable. Three, two, one. Here we go. Ba -ra -ba Bravo. Oh, farm. No, the farm heights is this is the area. I still think it's Cliff Fire Set Arms. Either way, that's our next jiggy. We need to just get, uh, I think, five more. So, uh, this has been Mega 400. Uh, reminding you. Uh. Hmm. Uh, go see out. Go look outside and see if it's snowing. Because if it is snowing, then you might want to put a jacket on. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you don't. I don't know. See ya.